In this video, I'll be showing you the simple way to create the RGB effect in Photoshop. If you're new here, welcome. We're not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art, and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos Monday to Friday. It's easy, it's free, and it really supports the channel. Let's roll the video and enjoy. So let's get on with the tutorial. So I'm going to be creating the effect on this image here. And as I mentioned, it's going to be the RGB effect. So basically what that is, is kind of when you separate the channels of the RGB color spectrum, and then you separate them and pull them a little bit offset, and you get this really cool, similar to a glitch effect, but also like maybe a bad TV. So when your TV in the olden days used to go a little bit funny, you would get this RGB effect as well. Obviously you don't get that now with these modern TVs, but people like to use this effect to add a little bit of style to an image. So what is RGB? So RGB is a color model. And it's an additive color model in which red, green and blue light are added together in various ways to reproduce a broad array of colors. So basically from the red, green and blue, when you mix them up in various combinations, it creates other colors. But we don't need to go too much into that. That's just kind of getting a little bit out of our hand. What we want to do is just show you how to create the effect on an image. So before we get started as well, um, this image here I created a while back. I created it with an Instagram model called Empty Alien. So if you want to check her out on Instagram, it's underscore empty underscore alien. And she created the look that she's wearing. She created the outfit. She created the headpiece. She's a really talented model. So feel free to check out her Instagram as well. So let's get right into the meat of this tutorial now. It's a very simple tutorial. So it's probably not going to last too long, but it's a really quick and easy effect. So what you want to do is you want to have, you want to start off with just your one layer. Or, I mean, maybe create a stamp visible layer if, if you've got layers underneath it. And what you want to do is you just want to duplicate either your single layer or your stamp visible layer with Control J. And then you want to double click on the right hand side of the layer here, like so. And that will bring up your layer styles. So if you go to advanced blending here, as you can see, we've got the channels uh, and we've got R, G, B, and they're all ticked. So if you untick the red, you will see this blue color appear here. Well, more cyan. So you'll get this cyan color appear. Uh, color appear. Let's press OK. If you press V for the move tool with this layer still selected and then just with the arrow key, start moving to the side, you'll see you can now separate the two uh, layers. So that was to the left, let's just move it to the right. As you can see, when I move it to the right, you're getting this cyan color here, which is the one what was in the box when we unselected the red channel. So the best way to use this effect is quite subtly. So I would maybe just give it a few clicks to the right hand side. And that would be it, something like that. So what we want to do then is we want to duplicate this bottom layer again with Control J and create another copied layer. And then we want to go in and double click the right hand side to create to bring up the layer styles. And then let's uncheck the green this time. And we get this magenta pink color here, press OK. Then let's start playing with bringing out these different colors so and now just clicking backwards and forwards on both of these channels and just seeing which colors come out so we've got the when we click on this one now at the top we have this blue coming out the other side so we wanted that a little bit like so so I'm just clicking these off and on again So something like that would work. So you can do this without creating a second layer. Sometimes it's just good to create the second layer with the channel and then just click through both and see what effect you get. But And basically that's it. So it's all about the layer styles, going into the RGB, turning one of them off or two of them off, 
pressing V with a move tool and then just shifting each RGB channel to the side to see what you get. So for me, that, that looks pretty good to me. So what we can also do is you can also do this on black and white images. So I've got a black and white image here. So again, I would duplicate the layer, Control J, and then I would double click on the right hand side of the layer to bring up the layer styles. I would then let's uncheck the red, press OK, press V for Move Tool, and then just click to the side a couple of times like so. I'm not going to create a second channel this time, we're going to keep it with one, but as you can see we have the split of the red at this side and we've got the blue cyan colour at this side. And it's as simple as that, that literally took, well, a couple of seconds. And that's how easy it is. But it just gives a real nice effect. It, it, it kind of has like a, I don't know if you used to remember those 3D glasses you got as a child and you would put them on. Uh, in the magazines and it looks a little bit 3D or you could kind of go from the red side to the blue side it looked like something was moving like it's pretty much very similar to that effect as well but it can add a little bit of a cool stylistic flair to black and white but if you're doing cyberpunk images or something futuristic it can add a very cool effect to those style of images too and if anyone's interested in how a composite like this is made with the style of the lighting and the colour grading and everything um, I do have my Hollywood processing course which is available there's a link below the video so feel free to check that out this is how I created this image here by using all the techniques in that course well that's it for this tutorial I hope you found it of value if you did it would be amazing if you could like comment and subscribe you could even share this video with someone you feel will benefit from it. It helps our channel a lot to get seen and we appreciate it each and every time you do. You guys are awesome, we love the interaction, so thanks again, we truly are grateful. Thanks guys and I will see you next time.